Hey guys, today we are going to be reviewing functions and domain and range. So these problems, the most important part is that you answer what the question is actually asking, because if you just look at a table, they could be asking you for domain range. Is it a function or not? or something else. So whenever you are ready to check your answers, just reread the problem and make sure you actually answered the question that the problem is asking you to on your test. So let's start with functions. Remember a function is a relationship where each input has exactly one output. So we're gonna label the representations below as functions or not functions. So remember functions don't have repeating X values because each input has exactly one output. So let's look at the ordered pairs here. These do not have repeating X values. So this one is a function. On the mapping, each of the inputs only has one output. So that is a function as well. And this graph passes the vertical line test. It's only hitting the vertical line at one point across the entire graph. So these representations here do show a function. Okay, let's look at these representations. I see repeating X values. And on this mapping right here, five has more than one output. And then this one definitely does not pass the vertical line test. So that means that all of these representations show not a function. Okay, we also learned how to evaluate functions in function notation. So here's an example of a function equation. Remember this reads as f of x and that is the whole output of the function. It's the same thing as y. And then x is the input of the function. So if it has something inside the parentheses, that is what you replace the x with in the function. So let's look at that for this one right here. It says find f of 11 if f of x equals negative 3 parentheses x minus 14 squared plus 3. So all we have to do is replace the x with 11. So to find f of 11, we will just do negative 3 parentheses 11 minus 14 squared plus 3. And you can do that by hand if you want, or you can use your calculator. I'm going to get mine pulled up here. So I'll do negative three parentheses, 11 minus 14 squared plus three, and we get negative 24. So that means F of 11 is negative 24. Okay, we also talked about domain and range. So remember there's two types of relations and if we have a discrete relation, we are going to list out the domain and range. That means it's disconnected. And if we have continuous or connected data, we will use inequalities. And if it's between two numbers, I have a little template here for you. You will put your lower number here, the higher number there, X or Y, depending on its domain and range. You always use less than signs. The equal to sign just depends on if the value is included or not. So domain is from left to right. In an equation or a table, we're gonna look at the X values. And in a verbal description, it's the input or the independent. And then the range is the opposite of that. On the graph, it's from bottom to top. On your equation or table, it'll be the Y values. And in your verbal descriptions, it's the output or the dependent values. So let's look at two graphs. We're gonna practice evaluating those functions and we're gonna practice finding the domain and range. So let's evaluate this function first. It says find f of three. That is giving me the x value since it's inside the parentheses. It's saying go find the output if the input is x equals three. So x equals three is right here and that matching output value is one. Okay, then my domain and range are going to be listed since this is a discrete or disconnected graph. So domain is from left to right. I'm gonna highlight the graph on the X value 
where those points are in the x values. And for my domain, I will just list out what those values are. So it looks like that's negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 3, negative 1, positive 1, positive 3, and positive 5. And then the range is similar, but I'm looking at the y values. So I'm going to go from bottom to top. And the y values are negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Okay, then this graph is connected. I would not lift my pencil up when drawing that graph, so it is continuous. So I'll be writing my domain and range with inequalities, but evaluating the function for g of negative four is the same. They gave us an x value where x equals negative four, and they want us to go find that output. So x equals negative four is right here and that matching y value is positive four. So g of negative four is positive four. Okay, then domain is from left to right. So I'm gonna highlight on the graph, the furthest left that this graph goes is negative four. And then it keeps going, and then the furthest right it goes is positive four, and that's an open circle on positive four. So I'll be careful with that when I write my inequalities. So the furthest left I went, the lowest in the domain is negative four. You always put a less than sign when you're in between two values. And I'm gonna put an equal sign here. Since I don't see an open circle at negative four, I assume that value is included. Domain is the x values. And then I'm just gonna put a less than sign here since my maximum of four in the domain has an open circle, that four is not included. And then my maximum value is four, so it goes right there. Okay, let's look at the range. Now I'm gonna go from bottom to top. The bottom of the graph is two, and that's an open circle on two, and then it goes all the way up to eight, and that is a closed circle on eight. So my range would be negative two is less than, since it's the open circle, y and then less than or equal to positive 8 since it was a closed circle on positive 8. Okay, let's look at the word problem down here. So while I'm reading through the word problem, I want you to think about if it is a discrete situation where the numbers in between would not be true or if it's continuous where everything in between a certain range is going to be true. So it says, Coach Thomas is ordering three jerseys for each captain on his football team. If he orders for at most five captains, what are the domain and range to represent this situation? So since he's ordering jerseys for at most five captains, that is going to be discrete because he's not going to order like 1.25 jerseys. He will only order one or two or three or so on. So we are going to list out the domain and range here. And let's think about what the domain and range would be. So he's ordering three jerseys for each captain. So the number of jerseys is going to depend on how many captains he has. So the domain is going to be the number of captains. And the range will be the number of jerseys. So let's start with the domain, which is the number of captains. It tells us he's going to order for at most five captains. So that could be zero captains or one or two or three or four or five, but not more than five. So there's our domain. And then the range is going to be the number of jerseys and he's ordering three for each captain. So we will just multiply each of the numbers that we got for the captains by three. So the range will be zero, three, six, nine, 12, or 15. 
Okay, last thing we need to talk about is association versus causation. This is just a specific type of relationship. So association is when two variables are related. It does not automatically imply causation. Causation is a special type of association, so two related things, but the independent variable will directly cause something in the dependent variable to happen. So this last question says, which situation shows causation? A says the number of cookies sold affects the number of milkshakes sold. Those might be related if they're selling them at the same store, but I wouldn't say that cookies, you can't prove that cookies sold is going to affect the number of milkshakes sold. So that's association. Let's look at B. It says the amount of time a laptop is used affects the charge of its battery. That is a specific type of association called causation because the more you use your laptop, the less battery you are going to have. So B would be the causation there.